Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today is March 1st. Oh my gosh, it's March 1st already. Welcome to the Julie and Milo show. My name is Julie. I am coming to you from Newport Coats, California. My dear friend Milo. Milo, could you please say hello? Hey, how you guys doing? Milo from Nashville, Tennessee. Good morning, Milo. Thank you so much. You know, Milo, you and I are sitting together every single day, two, three times a day, but we on the phone a lot. And sometimes we talk through the night. We talk about on passive. We're talking about what we could do with the Julie and Milo show. And we're talking about on passive. And it, it's exciting that on passive is going to be a phenomenon in this world. And yes, there are over 500, almost 550,000 of us are talking about on passive. And behind on passive is Mr. Ash Mofart, his entire family and his team that working tirelessly in Hyderabad, India and in Orlando for us, for our future. So we wanted to say thank you, Mr. Ash your team and your family um, to do this for us, for our future. And also behind On Passive is a community of people. We talk to people from all over the world. They, when we get together, we're talking about how we are going to take the apples that we make in On Passive to change our life, to change family life, and to change humanity. Today in our holding room, we do have a special guest. I've only had a few conversations with him, but let's hear what our guest has to say about On Passive and his story. So Milo, could you please introduce our guest? Absolutely, Julie. Uh, today we have a, a founder uh, with us. You know, we don't know a lot about him, but we're going to find out. So I want to bring him out with no further ado to the stage, Mr. Marty Hers. Marty, come on out. How you doing, Marty? Good to see Great. you. Welcome to Great. the show. Good morning, oh, Marty. Welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, Julie. Thank you, Milo. How are you guys doing today? We're doing good. Hey, thank you so much for being on the show, Marty. We like to uh, we like to uh, start the show by uh, we want to know more about Marty. Who is Marty Hurst? So uh, we're going to start right from the beginning. Uh, tell us where you was born. You know your siblings, your parents, and you you know if you have family now, you know your family now. Uh, if you could uh, take about three minutes and do that for us, I'd be glad to. Uh, my name is Marty Herz, H-E-R-Z, no T in it, and no millions that go with that, uh, sadly, <laughs> but I think we may have a solution to that coming up. But nonetheless, uh, I was born on the uh, mean streets of the south side of Chicago, Illinois, uh, where I grew up with uh, two parents and one brother until I was about 18, and my parents seemed to think that a lifestyle that involved um, partying with my friends every night and uh, sort of living on odd jobs and unemployment wasn't the best life's path. So they uh, made an arrangement with my uncle, then living in Dallas, Texas, to have me go there and work for him. And that is what I did. After selling the, the true love of my life, a 1970 Oldsmobile 442 W30, and I still miss that car, but I digress. <laughs> awesome. awesome. So uh, what about that? Do you have any children? I have uh, one son and two beautiful grandchildren. They reside in Ohio. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. So let me ask you this. Do you know Bad Bad Leroy Brown? I, do I don't know him personally, but I know that he was the baddest man in the whole darn town. <laughs> All right. I love that song. That's a good one. On the south side of Chicago. All right, Julie, go ahead. I'm sorry. I stepped oh, on that's you. okay. That's okay. You know, Marty, um, I had a conversation with you the other night, and we were talking about the situation in Texas that uh, many of us founders have had to have to go through. And then we talk about you. You have done something that is incredible. Tell us about the shipping container. <laughs> well, uh, I guess I have, to, I have to preface that a little bit with a, um, a former pastor of mine made a statement one time that said, 
We need to learn how to live simply so that others may simply live. And uh, that was pretty profound, but I may have taken that to heart a little bit too much. Um, I had a you know, moderately successful career in sales and then marketing, then training, then um, shifting to online sales, marketing, <laughs> training, et cetera. But I was never what you would call rich. But I figured out that in order to survive in this cold, cruel world, you had to do one of two things. One, you either had to figure out how to make more money, or two, you had to learn to live on less. Well, I took the uh, second path there, and uh, after, um, after learning how, and this was before the days of, of YouTube, we, uh, we learned things from books and, and then later DVDs back in the good old days, um, I figured out how to actually build a house myself. So uh, having then been married and everything else at that time, uh, I did that, built a 2000 square foot house from the ground up and uh, did all the plumbing, electrical, et cetera. And uh, it was great having no mortgage at age 30. So wow. that, that fit into my fit in my plans. I mean, it wasn't the Taj Mahal or anything, but it didn't. A good longtime friend of mine came and rescued me, uh, and uh, he lived where I am. I am now in a nice little town called Aubrey, Texas, which is about 60 miles northwest of Dallas. It's actually closer to Oklahoma than it is to downtown Dallas. So, at any rate. I was uh, couch surfing, as, as the kids say, uh, for a while. And then uh, someone came up with the great idea of, well, maybe you'd like to have your own place. So uh, have you heard about tiny houses or anything? So I started looking into that and uh, was going to construct a house on a, on a small trailer. And then somebody even better said, you know what? Maybe you ought to look at, at a shipping container. They're bigger. They already have a floor, walls, roof, all that kind of thing. And there are tons of them around here and they're, they're very affordable. So I looked into that. Long story short, too late. I am now talking to you from a 53 foot long, same length as, a, as the trailer on a semi truck, coincidentally, uh, <laughs> you know, a shipping container that was converted into a, into a house. So. <laughs> wow. So 50 long and then what's the wide well now you know hang on to your seat some people would get you know claustrophobic at this moment but the one i got was uh, an extra tall one so it's uh it's uh nine and a half feet tall in, inside or it gives you an eight and a half foot ceiling uh although it is only eight and a half feet wide wow so that that makes that makes the rooms kind of uh narrow but long which yeah. is fine with me. <laughs> so, wow, that's uh, that's cool. Um, so, did you did you finish the inside of it off? Uh, did you finish oh. it off traditionally, just like a regular home, with drywall and stuff? Uh, well, uh, I, I I went <laughs> I, I went the uh, a the paneling route a little a, a little less expensive and quicker to deploy and uh, not you know, being in a cloud of drywall dust <laughs> perpetually for days on end while doing that. But yeah, I, I did all the uh, plumbing, electrical, water, AC, heat, all that stuff. Uh, thankfully for uh, God's gifts in that area <laughs> that I, uh, you know, didn't have to hire somebody to do it because that, that always takes the bulk of the, of the budget. So, uh -huh. so do no, you this container sitting in someone's yard, someone's driveway? How do, how would you manage to actually put that on a property? Ah, well, very good question. And yes, that, that a longtime friend, now landlord, uh, so to speak, uh, graciously allowed me to stick it uh, over in the, uh, in the North 40, as, as those in Texas will understand or elsewhere. Uh, so I, I, I'm, you know, a hundred and probably 150 yards away from the, from his house. And yet I've got, you know, full features and amenities. And yet 
total privacy. I, I look out at my the two big doors and uh, it's nothing but pond and pastures and uh, occasional cows walking by. It's 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 gorgeous. I love it. Wow. Wow. So do you have a well? Does it have a well or um, for your water? Or is it city no, water? I mean, it, we we tapped we tapped off of uh, off of the regular quote unquote city water, which is actually a communal well. Okay, cool. Wow, that's that's pretty neat. So so you're uh, not really living off the grid, but kind of off the grid. Yeah, you know, I, I actually looked into that, and and um, that would have been that would have been interesting, but. There's a there's a funny story in that, and I and I, I hope the wrong people uh, uh, aren't listening. But we had tried to get an electric hookup because there was a, a pole already there from a you know previous something, and and when we called, they said, oh, you have to have a survey, and you have to you know the city has to sign off on it, and you have to do this and you have to do that, and it was going to total about seventy five hundred dollars just to be able to get electricity. So we, we, we figured out some workarounds temporarily. And then after a, I waited about a year and then I, I called back the same uh, rural electric company and, and said, hey, I've got a pole here. I'd like to, uh, existing, I'd like to bring it back into service. And I must've got the right guy or had favor from on high or whatever. They said, okay, we'll send somebody out to look they did, uh, long story short, again, too late, uh, for a total cost of, uh, I think it was $35, they ended up uh, giving them an electric meter and, and on that existing pole. Wow. Wow. Uh, cool. So you also said that you built your own home from ground up. Now, is that the home you're talking about, or did you do another home that you built from ground well, up? Well, no, the one I the one I built from the ground up was a traditional um, stick house, as they call it, you know, right. um, wood, timber, you know, whatever. Uh, that one, uh, that one stayed behind in the divorce. So, oh, uh, got you. Right. Cool. Wow. That's crazy. So what do you do on your free time? I know you have some pretty cool hobbies. Uh, well, <laughs> some would, some, you know, one, one man's, one man's trash, another man's treasure. Uh, I, I love, uh, I love making training videos and uh, explainer videos and teaser videos and marketing videos and that sort of thing. Um, I guess the bad side of that is I also enjoy, uh, watching movies a little bit too much i guess i could use the excuse of well i get some good techniques and stuff uh you know by uh, by doing that it, it's probably just escapism and a guilty pleasure but uh thankfully i was uh you know well when when you're willing to live in a in a converted uh shipping container as a house and you have a, a very benevolent friend who you know doesn't really charge you anything much to do that uh you know, you could, you could retire easily. <laughs> so I, I was kind of, uh, you know, doing, doing the video thing, uh, you know, for clients and stuff like that and, uh, and enjoying blissful semi-retirement. Fantastic. Wow. So you moved from way up North Chicago, which is cold. You know, I used to live up by there and you moved down to Dallas. Uh, so now you're living down in Dallas. Did this just happen recently or how long have you been in Dallas? I know you said you oh, moved no, down there with no. your uncle. I, uh, I left, uh, yeah, I know it gets, it, it, it all seems to run together. I, uh, I left Chicago when I was 18 and, and now I'm a lot more than 18. So uh, doing the math, I figured out a long time ago that I had lived in Texas way longer than I had lived in Chicago. The irony is I, I thought I was trading uh, blizzards, ice, bitter cold, all that kind of thing. Uh, you know, I was trading up. Well, it got here and then, well, it's oppressive searing heat. Uh, so there's always something to complain about if you want to. What I did not expect was six days of sub-zero weather that, that us Texans had to endure uh, you know, recently, uh, I said, wait a minute, I left Chicago. What is this? <laughs> and it was, it was pretty brutal. And my heart goes out to 
uh, any of those people, even in Houston, which is way farther south than, than I am, there were people uh, with uh, frozen and exploded water pipes and all that kind of thing. And, and it's like, wow, you know, some like to point and make fun of that. Go, oh, Texas, look, it, you know, no, this hasn't been like this in probably 100, 150 years. And I pray it never is like this again in Texas. But right. here we are. So how was it in the shipping container during those, uh, you know, I know there was a week or whatever that you guys were really hammered. And I mean, it was sad, you know. How was it in the shipping container? I mean, because I would think you don't have as good of insulation in there and you don't have, you know, maybe as good a heat or whatever. I resent that statement, sir. Uh, <laughs> no, the, it's, uh, it's fully insulated, uh, perhaps not as well as it could have been or should have been. But I had, uh, I had two heat sources, uh, both electric and uh, uh, liquid propane. Uh, gas heaters and it was uh, comfy and toasty and and I'm ashamed to say it but thank goodness our, our rural co-op had planned ahead for this uh, our electric company and I never lost power not one second oh that's awesome that's awesome wow that's so awesome well Marty um I wanted to go into the topic of on passive that's uh, it's one of the reason why we are here and yes, absolutely, many of us are, are, are literally uh, celebrating what is coming, and uh, we are proud to be an OnPassive founder. And I wanted to ask you, when did you join OnPassive? How did you hear about it? When did you join it? And uh, why did you join OnPassive? Ah, how much time do we have left? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, because uh, my clock is out. <laughs> Take about seven to 10 minutes on this question if you, if you have. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll try. Well, uh, believe it or not, I have uh, been accepted in the beloved, uh, in on passive. I guess it's coming up on maybe four weeks now. Wow. Uh, it, it seems a lot longer, <laughs> of course. And, and all I can say is for those that uh, joined in the beginning in, in 2018, that must have been sheer torture you know, waiting and waiting until we're right on the, right on the cusp of, of greatness. I can see it. I can feel it, uh, you know, happening now. And, and I'm just glad that, that perhaps that I didn't discover it or know about it way back then, because I would have gone crazy waiting, you know, so I, my heart goes out to all those, but uh, fear not, you know, the reward is coming, but uh, actually it was kind of funny. Uh, somebody that had been in yet another one of those uh, fantastic failed ventures that we all like to talk about uh, as far as online uh, reached out to me and said, Hey, you, you got to check this thing out. I go, Oh no, here we go again. Which MLM is it? What is it? No, no, it's not anything like that. So and it was kind of funny because I said, all right, you know, in order to end the conversation quickly, I said, okay, uh, send me a link to the website and I'll take a look at it. So he goes, so okay, I'll send, it. I'll send it right now. So he sends it and I look at it and I said, wait a minute, this, this is just a page to sign up. He goes, well, yeah, you said send me the link. I said, well, you're right. Normally that would be, as we call in the, in the, in the marketing trade, a buying question. <laughs> you know, so do you have a link? Um, and, and he thought that I meant, the link to immediately sign up. I said, well, I'd like to know a little bit more about it. Oh, oh, okay. Well, here, let me send you, you know, 500 videos then. And, you know, and he did that. And, and uh, the rest kind of, as they say, is history. But personally, if I can uh, go up on this tangent for a moment, having done a lot of, of, of online marketing, some of it successful, most of it not, been involved in numerous other opportunities, uh, you know, plans, schemes, programs, whatever, I immediately saw, especially from the marketing aspect, I said, wait a minute, I know that there are products that are essential to online marketing that cost hundreds of dollars per month, depending on, you know, how many people you have on your system or platform. And they're all separate is the problem. You, you sometimes to do any project, you have to log into six or seven different things and, and have 
multiple monitors going or multiple windows open and, and bouncing back and forth. And, you know, it, it's fun and it's challenging, but, you know, it could also drive you insane. So when I saw the first thing I kind of discovered was, wait a minute, there's something here that's going to kill Zoom. There's something that's going to take the place of all the autoresponders like a Weber. There's something where I'd be able to communicate like Slack channels. And the list just went on and on and on. And then to top it all off, um, an e-learning platform where people can put their courses up there that they've made over the years. And I have so many friends in the internet marketing community that I know have some great courses on every topic you can think of. Hey, maybe I'll ma end up making one on how to convert a shipping container into a house. But, you know, uh, we'll see what happens and if time permits. But uh, seeing that all these things were were gathered like a, like a mother hen gathers her chicks in one place where you only need one login and one password and you're in and there's the whole control panel. I said, okay, that's it. I'm in. Where has this been all my life? Well, <clears throat> it took, you know, something like our, someone like our CEO, uh, Ash Bufara to have dreamt it, conceived it, then expanded it. Cause from what I understand it, it started out as a far more humble uh, exercise and has, you know, turned into this fantastic, gigantic, all-encompassing, um, you know, as I like to say, one hub to rule them all. And uh, that's what a lot of people in the, in the online community have been looking for. Then you add in what I also discovered that it's going to be uh, unlimited use because boy, do they love to, you know, oh, well, if you, if you, use this many megabytes, uh, then you pay more. Or if, if you have this many people, you pay more. No, unlimited usage on, on all the, on all the, the, the programs and, and services, that's unheard of. And the fact that it, from what I've seen of even the, just of the sneak peek we got in the back of the uh, e-learning platform, it is not only as robust as any e-learning platform I've ever seen, but it goes well beyond that. And uh, so they're going to be better. They're going to be cheaper. They're going to be unlimited use. How can you possibly go wrong with a with a system like that? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh... Go ahead, Julie. Marty, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's just that it's a great uh, concept, the whole thing. And, you know, we, we like to say on the show that uh, on Passive, is changing the world one person at a time. And it started with Ash Mofaro, you know. And so as we look at as we look at uh, this own passive and how it all works, you know, and everything, uh, we realize that the money deal is a done deal. That that are, you know, that the apples that we're gonna make is is tremendous, you know, and we're gonna make everything that we need, but we're gonna have extra apples. And at that point, what do we do with it? And I believe, you know, we as people have to get our minds and our hearts that to go ahead and, and figure out what we're gonna do with that. So do you have any plans or what's your thoughts on this, Marty? Well, let me, let me back up for half a second, if I may, cause you brought up a really great point, Milo. And that is um, the, you know, the, the, the earnings, shall we say. Well, I don't know how many products, how many promises I and you and everyone has heard over the years about, well, traffic, of course, is, is uh, well, it's either not mentioned at all, like buy this tool and, you know, money will fall out of the, the AC vent in the ceiling as you sit on the couch. The traffic will come. No, this is not uh, online marketing is not a, if you build it, they will come. If you go scratch claw and pay for it, they may come. But I had, I had had so many promises broken and otherwise of uh, those promising, oh, don't worry, it's free traffic. I, I, in fact, it, it hurts me, literally. I know so many people right now that are involved in a uh, an opportunity, shall we say, where uh, they promise to put you in a, quote, rotator and, and all the new people coming in will be, you know, will be, assigned out and you'll get some of them. Well, for that privilege, they're only asking one or $2,000 for the <laughs> deluxe package. I'm like, how do, how do people in, in you know the current 
situation afford something like that and and heaven forbid it'll be yet another broken promise well i don't see that here because i understand the systems enough and i understand that the products are in everything that's trending right now and the the, the market will come and all that it is is they they just don't know about it yet but when they find it they will come they will participate and they will stay and i'm i have no worries about the kind of earnings that that'll generate down the road for those that have the vision, shall we say, to become a founder while that opportunity was was still open. And, and I'm sorry to have gone off on that trail, but I had to I had to point that out. Awesome, yeah, and and that is one of the things you know. Our uh, prior question again was uh, the, the question you actually asked me, not the not the one I answered. Uh, was, was what again? I'm sorry. Uh, it was, uh, you know, that we're going to have extra apples and, and what is your plan? And we're running a little short on time. Uh, so, uh, you know, what is your plans as far as how are you going to distribute those extra apples to help other people out? Right. Well, uh, you know, as I already stated, uh, I, I'm not only learned how to, but I'm, I'm pretty content to, to live on next to nothing. <laughs> my needs are simple. My my lusts are none, you know, so uh, I, I'm not worried about that. Obviously, I'm going to do kind of the same things that a lot of a lot of other founders have mentioned. You know, I'd, I'd like to uh, uh, my parents are no longer uh, no longer with us. So uh, I, I will move it down a generation uh, legacy wise. I'd like to pay off my my uh, uh, son's family's mortgage. Uh, that that's a, a, a top priority. And then. Uh, I have a lot of, of, of friends that are involved in some great projects like, you know, wanting to do water wells in, um, in Africa and Ghana and places like that. And I, I'd like to be able to, you know, found or, or contribute to a lot of those. And then this will take another show and, and I'm not going to fully go into it now, but I, I have one really strange goal uh, to, to perhaps facilitate, if not purchase, a certain piece of land uh, in, uh, in the Holy Land, uh, because there, there are some v fascinating studies that have been out there that, that uh, talk about perhaps uh, the second coming uh, and, and what has to happen first. Like I say, uh, we can go into that <laughs> at a future date, but it's something along those lines, and it's a, it's a pretty huge and, and crazy and scary uh, endeavor that, <laughs> that I'm, I'm holding in the back of my, in the back of my spirit. Mm -hmm. so. Wow. Wow. I can see all that through what you're saying right there, right now, Marty. And I can see that uh, um, the, your children, your grandchildren, futures will be taken care of. Now, are they founders of OnPassive? Uh, well, uh, you know, I know age is no excuse, but at 10 and 12, uh, not yet. I, I did pick up a couple of extra positions, however, that I'm, I'm earmarking. For them, I'm I'm gonna work on their dad first, uh, you know. But uh, I I think uh, you know it, it's like so many people. <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> it de it depends how you present a thing, you know. If it's if it's like, hey, I just found the greatest business op, you know, or opportunity ever, and then and, 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 and you know they they roll their eyes, and the first thing they say is. Is this like the other 47 that you told me was the last and best one ever that I needed to hear you about? So I'm like, okay, no, I understand your skepticism. I'm going to, I'm going to be a lot more subtle uh, in my approach, <laughs> but uh, they're all on my list. Let's put it that way. Awesome. Fantastic. So I know we're, we're kind of running out of time um, right now, but before I let you go, Marty, um, I know that you've done a lot for the community. You've put a lot of your creation out there, um, but ha but yet yeah, many of us are using your creations, are sending it out there and shared that with people. However, there are still people, some people still on the fence or some people even in on passive and they haven't really done anything. What are your word of wisdoms for these folks? Ah. <sighs> Well, that, you know, and that, that always upsets me, you know, when I, when I kind of look and, and some of the people's stories are, are, are not only heartwarming, but heart wrenching, you know, uh, uh, some of the, the things they've endured and overcome 
that things are currently enduring. And I, I say to myself, you know, is it, so if, if God gave me certain talents uh, as far as script writing or, or video and that kind of thing, or, or making graphics, let me at least, you know, throw some of those out there and, and let people use it. Well, I guess what you have to kind of realize is it's, you know, as it says in the word, it's given for, you know, some to plant, some to water, some to, some to, uh, you know, till and, and, and others to reap the harvest. Well, the, by the same token, mm -hmm. it's, you can, you know, you can put a, a pearl of great price in front of someone and either not, not yet or not now or not ever, you almost have to say, I'm going to share this and whosoever will like that invitation to come to the king's banquet, you know. So, well, the the rich people, the snooty people, the important people didn't didn't want to come to our banquet. And what was the answer? Well, go into the hedges, highways, and byways, and whosoever will bid that they come. So that's the only and best advice I could I could give. Really, is is share it, uh, you know, with with anyone and everyone you know, and uh, those that are interested will will seek you out. They may do get it immediately. They may come later. But either way, you have to be content with the fact that those that were, you know, predestined, for lack of a better word, to come and be a part of this will, and those that weren't won't. Absolutely, you know. And and, and Maury, thanks so much for your time today. You know, uh, uh, you you brought up some great points and stuff, and we really appreciate you you're spending your time with us. And we we appreciate your videos that you're sharing with all the other founders and stuff. Uh, they're great, man. Some of your videos are just just awesome. But unfortunately, we're out of time. So, Julie, I'm going to send it back over to you right over there. And, uh, you know, take us home. Take us out of here. Absolutely. Thank you, Marty, so much for um, spending time with us and share your knowledge, your passion. Um, you still can stay there. It's okay. Don't turn it off. But um, really appreciate you for, for what you do for the community and also um, what you are sharing today, your passion on, on, in on passive and your knowledge and your background. So really appreciate that you are here. Um, there you have it, everyone. We call Marty Herds. It's Marty number two. And uh, we love having a conversation. <laughs> with uh, with him there are a lot more founders stories that are out there that we'd love for you to plug in and you could go to julie and milo.com to be able to see all the stories we have stories coming out two times three times a day hope you are subscribing plug in so that when every time when you have videos coming out it will notify you also if you are not a founder or um in on passive you have to get back to someone that share this video with you and you want to take the action and if you are the founder of on passive you have the key to your future. Log into your back office, plug in and stay um, stay up to date with the information of On Passive. Thank you so much for watching the Julie and Milo show. We are here on our YouTube channel every single day. I hope that you plug in and also join our Facebook on Passive with a heart. Yes, we share heart stories in our channel, in our group and everywhere in On Passive. So when you are wondering what on passive is all about watch julieandmiloshow.com and make sure you watch on passive.com there's a lot of information out there for you thank you for watching the julie and milo show thank you ash thank you your family and thank you your entire team i hope you all stay well and stay healthy good night from newport coast california uh, thank you, Julian Milo, and good day, good night, good morning to all from beautiful, picturesque Aubrey, Texas. Good night from Nashville. <laughs>